Hi, I'm Jay Cohen, author of the cookbook Jew-ish, and this is Pro Tips from Pro Chefs. So when it comes to entertaining, I'm a big believer in an oven set to 450 degrees. It's your best friend. You could have three racks, each with a different sheet pan, and that is the best temperature for roasting vegetables. You spatchcock your chicken, it comes out super delicious, crispy, and quick and really everything can hit the table at the same time, which is always the goal. I handle all the food. My husband does all of the YouTube table napkin folding tips <laughs> and does all the setting. But I'm really not the expert chef, but I do think like a nice table setting can make a really big difference. So we've gotten really nice crystal candles. Like I'll go online and look up creative napkin folds and all those little details really add up and make for a great experience. When I'm feeling lazy, I love a good napkin ring and you can literally just pick up a napkin from the center and pull it through the ring and it makes this like beautiful design and it's also super easy so if I'm in a rush I just do that. I am too lazy to like press my napkins or iron them so like some of the folds need, need that level of like... No one has time business. for that. Nobody yeah. has time for that. But another fold I really like is there are folds where you can basically create inserts for your silverware. So it kind of doubles as like a napkin fold and also a place for you to put silverware and arrange it really in a pretty way and fold it, tuck it into the napkin. The key part when it comes to entertaining it is delegating. Like don't, don't feel like you have to take on this full burden yourself. I'm very lucky that I have an incredible husband who handles the, the non-cooking elements, but feel free to get your guests involved. Give them a dish to bring, have them help you out when it comes to setting up your table. Really, like, nothing is off limits. We really are a team in that sense, in that, like, usually as guests are coming in, Jake is still prepping in the kitchen, so I'm, like, you know, starting to talk to the guests and getting them seated at the table, and then, you know, I'm not helping with the cooking, but as, you know, plates need to be cleaned up, you know, then we switch roles. So Jake will sit down and be the entertainer, and I'm, like, picking up plates and, getting sort of sneaking things into the dishwasher or cleaning things in, in a subtle way so it minim minimizes the workload after the guests leave. If you want more tips, you can head to the drewbarrymoreshow.com slash pro tips. Be sure to tag me in anything you do. I'm at Jake Cohen and use the hashtag Drew Barrymore Show.